Here we go. I'm happy to be here. Thank you so much. You're brave, Pastor Mac, Pastor Lynn. You're brave. I'm here because um, Lynn prayed for me, and that's how we connected. She prayed for me and, and a field of irises, not knowing me and not knowing the field. And I'm so undone. I'm so undone. It's great to be with you, Joseph and Sean and Hannah and just family. I love being back here. Thank you so much. And I pray you get rocked and wrecked. That was, um, that was uh, the, the beginning of the word. I didn't know it, but it was. The Lord's taking us deeper. And I was asking him what to share about. And, and Ezekiel 47 came to my heart. And the man brought me back to the entrance of the temple. And I saw water coming out from under the threshold of the temple towards the east. The water was coming down from under the south side of the temple, south of the altar. And he brought me out through the north gate. And he led me round outside the outer gate facing east. This is Ezekiel 47, as you know. And the water was flowing from the south side. The water I give you, what does he say, John 4? The water I give you is what? What kind of water is it? Yes, I know you're a word, church. Come on, go ahead. You can talk all you like. This is water, living water flowing. It's flowing down, and it's springing up, and it's flowing out. And a man went eastward with a measuring line in his hand. And he measured off a thousand cubits, and he led me through water that was ankle deep. And he measured off another thousand cubits, led me through water that was knee deep. He measured off another thousand, led me through water that was up to my waist. Have you ever tried to walk in the water? Have you ever tried to walk on the water? (laughs) Have you ever tried? I, I have. I'm like, come on, Jesus. I... I've I've sunk. I've not just sunk trying to walk on the water a few times, but I've sunk a few boats. I stopped, I I think five now. I think five. Not on purpose, by the way, but they've just sunk. And so I feel to share a little bit about the boats and them sinking and the fact that if you don't quit, you win. Right? If you don't quit, you win. A lot of y'all, the first time you sink the boat, you're like, I'm done with boat ministry. I'm just done with it. You, you, some of y'all have had more than one trial in your life. And if you had a trial or two, uh, it either makes you stronger or you just back up. And so I just believe that as you go through trials, the Lord's meaning for you to get stronger. And as you start walking in this water, he's meeting for you to get further. So anyway, I know a lot about water because we live on the ocean, and I grew up on the ocean, and I grew up, I'm like like a fish. I really am. I swim. I love to swim. I love to worship in the water. I love the water. I just love the water. It touches me. It moves me because God speaks to me in the water. So when you're ankle deep in the water, can you walk pretty well? You're all, you're all in the freezing ice. You all walk on the, uh, uh, you all, I flew over it thinking, they walk on the water all the time. It's just frozen. It's just frozen. They're out there in Minnesota, right? We're in Minnesota. Did I get it right? Yeah. I said Missouri a minute ago and. Hannah, correct me, you're like, sweet Jesus, I know where I am. There's ice everywhere. <laughs> it's Minnesota. And you're walking, and, and if you're walking ankle deep, you can't do that on the ice, but in other countries and places, <laughs> you can. And when you're walking ankle deep, you can control yourself. You can walk that way. And then when you get a little deeper, it's a little harder to walk. And then when you get up to your waist, you start wobbling. You start wobbling up to your waist because you're you're not in control. You're slightly in control, but not all in control. Why was it that the angel of the Lord was asking Ezekiel to go further? 
because he wanted to call him into the deep places in the realm of the spirit. He wanted to call him so deep that he was out of his own control and in the control of Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit often comes, we, we hear, we read the word, we know the word, we love the word. Revelation 22, the river of God flows from where? From, from the throne of God and of, of the Lamb. From the throne of God and of the Lamb, the throne of God and of the Lamb, the river of God flows out onto the great streets of the city. So we're talking about the Lord drawing us into himself. And he's saying, past your ankles, past your knees, past your waist, over your head. And then what happens when you're over your head? It's no longer your mind, it's his. It's no longer your way of doing things. It's his way of doing things. And it doesn't make sense in the natural realm. It's like what you speak about with finance. It doesn't make sense. It's, it's, it's crazy. People think you're nuts. You're all nuts. But see, the realm of the spirit, things shift. They're very, very different from the natural realm. And so he's this, this beautiful uh, uh, calling this calling deep onto deep onto deep onto deep. He's saying past your waist. He's probably freaking out a little bit. Past your waist. What do you mean? And he keeps measuring. Come on further. And now it's a river. And it's a river that I could not cross, Ezekiel said, because the river had risen and it was deep enough to swim in, a river that no one could cross. He asked me, son of man, do you see this? Then he led me back to the bank of the river where I arrived. When I arrived there, I saw a great number of trees on each side of the river. And he said to me, this water flows towards the eastern region and it goes down into the Arabah where it enters the sea. And when it enters the sea, the water there becomes fresh. Now this is a real, a real situation in Israel, by the way. This is not like... Uh, uh, a fake river. There's a real river in Israel that looks like it's, it looks like this. It's going to come and all kinds of stuff actually going to happen in the natural realm. But it's also speaking about a supernatural river. That's why we read about it, Revelation 22. So I want you to remember this is a real deal. And I want you to understand it's in the natural and in the spirit. This is what's going on. So he's leading him, and in this water is flowing down the Arabah where it enters the sea. Where it enters the sea, there it becomes fresh. What's down there in the real spot? Y'all know? Dead. It's dead. It's called the Dead Sea. It's dead. Did you ever see a dead Christian? They're just dead. They're just dead. They're there just dead. They're not, nothing's happening. We're not called to be dead. We're not meant to be a dead sea. Why is the dead sea dead? I'm, I'm talking in the natural just for a moment. Eight minutes. Wait, there's more time. That's a miracle. <laughs> it's confusing, but it's awesome. <laughs> dead Sea. Think about a Dead Sea. Why is the Dead Sea dead? Because nothing's flowing out of it. Nothing's flowing out of it. Why are there so many dead Christians? Because Holy Spirit's not flowing out of you. You're like, come Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit. We need Holy Spirit to come, and we need Holy Spirit to flow. And the more he flows out of us, the more he comes, and he flows, and he comes, and he flows, and he comes, and he flows, and we go, and he flows, and he comes. And we, if, but we, we're out of control. That, that's frightening. 
Now I'm taught. Now I know pilots need to be in control. I understand this. I'm married to a pilot, a minister, theologian, pilot. <laughs> wow. <laughs> when the river flows, everything becomes fresh, alive. Totally alive. Do you want to be alive or you just want to be dead? Dead or alive? Alive. We want to be alive with the power of Holy Spirit flowing in and through us. This is what we're called to. And it's a place beyond our natural realm. It's a place beyond our natural ability. A place that where, where he's flowing. In every, every area, he's flowing. Every area, you're just full of generosity. You're full of love. You're full of passion. You're full of mercy. All that God wants to do in and through you is just flowing, 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 flowing. So he's asking us to go deeper. And it, and it's, it can be frightening to go deeper, but he's saying, come on, come on, this river, come on, jump in the river, flow in the river, get deep in the river, get deep heart to heart, face to face with Jesus, so close to him that you're not afraid anymore. There'll be large numbers of fish because this water flows there and makes the salt water fresh. So where the river flows, everything will live. Fishermen will stand on the shore of En Gedi to En Glaim, and there will be places for spreading the nets. Do you want to know how I got a revelation on this? They, these guys don't. Can I tell you? Just, just the first shipwreck story. I, I, I feel led to. I feel, the, I feel the presence of God on it. I do. So, so I'm very excited. You know, I love reaching the unreached people groups. So I'll be very excited. And, and it takes me like a year or so to get this boat. It, it, it's, we called it a ship, but it was a boat. You know, it was a boat. <laughs> and I was very excited about it because I prayed about it. I believe you're going to reach the unreached people group. You know, first thing I did, because I heard the Lord, go reach the unreached people. So I got a, I was in New Zealand preaching, went in to buy a backpack, and I said, I, I'll take that. It was a sea bear. It was a, a kayak. My friend said, you're nuts. I said, I know, but I, I, I'm going to reach those unreached people groups. So I started lifting weights. I got home. I, she said, how are you going to get that kayak to Mozambique? I said, you, you're going to send it. You have to have team." took about a year. I got the kayak. I get in my kayak. I'm going to reach the unreached people groups. And I'm like rowing, rowing, rowing. I just go back. I rowed so hard. I pushed so hard. All I did was get about to, to here, quite literally, in a sea bear, it's called, a sea bear. I was so discouraged. The thing just came right back, right back. I had to get rescued rescued by my guards from the sea bear, went nowhere. So then I decided I'm gonna go with the current, I go with the current and I hit a sandbank and there's one drunk guy and I preached the gospel, he got saved, hallelujah. That was, that was it. That was all the fruit I had with that sea bear. So the, I prayed and the Lord said, get a bigger boat. Well, that's great. So I got a bigger boat. I was so excited. It took about a year and a half. Long story. Don't have time. They're being generous. But hey, I'm not telling it all. So I, I get this bigger boat. I'm super excited. I get my team. We're going to dedicate it for Jesus. Jesus, it's your boat. Jesus, here we go. Get it on. Yes. We had non-alcoholic champagne. Yes. And we got a dedicator. We get on there. The people get on them. My team, I'm like, we got to wear life jackets. I got a captain. I was so excited. He was Makua, spoke Makondi, Yao Mwani. I'm super excited about this guy. We get on. We get out about from here to where the cross is. We are throwing up <laughs> over the side. I mean, we lost it. The white people are turning green. Black people turning red, purple. 
We are sick. We are so sick. All they said is, take us back, take us back, take us back. This is now a two-year journey. Take us back. We crawl off the boat. Like, we crawl off the boat. Like, the, just my daughter who loves me. I mean, my daughter loves me. She said, I hate you. <laughs> this is my adopted daughter, Abia. She said, I will never get on a boat as long as I live. I hate you. I said, no, you don't. Stop that. Don't use those words. She said, I'm, uh, just right this minute I do. <laughs> sick. We were so sick. And as we were coming back, one of the engines blew up. It was a disaster. <laughs> Deep, yes. I was like quoting Ezekiel 47. I was. We're going deep, deeper still, hallelujah, into the river. Here we go. But, oh, that's all that happened. It was a nightmare. So I'm praying, 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 feel the Lord, like get Dramamine. Maybe that doesn't sound spiritual, but to me it was. Dramamine was spiritual. Took six weeks to get it. But half of the team... That's where we live in northern Mozambique. You know, half the team wouldn't get back on the boat. The captain didn't want to go. But it, we went, we're like going deep in God, deep in God. We're going to go. Come on, let's reach the unreached people group. We get, we get there finally, you know, and, and I'm going to be honest. I took two Dramamine, and I was very tired. I was like <laughs> sleepy. I was, but I mean, we got so sick. And we finally get to this island. It's called London. And uh, it's a great, great what happened there. But I got there. I'm looking for the chief. Where's the chief? They show me where the chief is. I share the gospel, give him an audio solar Bible. I ask if we can come back. He's like, yes. And I'm just started singing the Jesus songs. And he's listening to the word of God. And I'm just so happy. And, and it's just joyful. And, and long story short, we have to get back on the boat to get to the other side. We get back on the boat. Another engine blows up and it was um, rough so we wait 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 it takes a whole army of people to carry the gospel did you know that we need all of us we need the people who created drama me <laughs> we need them seriously we need the boat captains we need the boat we need the people who make the boats. We need the people who spend 20 years in the dirt translating the word of God into Makua, Makondi, Yao. We need the Wycliffe guys. We need every kind. We need the people that make the life jackets. We need the people that know how to organize fuel. You need every kind of person. We need the whole body of Christ to carry this glorious gospel. And we all have to go deep. Are you guys with me? Come on. All of us. All of us. So we're going to go deep, deep, deep. And fi finally, uh, you know, it was a, it took I can't even remember how long it took to get engines all the way from Canada. You know, the customs don't like that. They don't like people coming on with engines to, to boats. They fussed. What is this? You think it's hard bringing your, you know, whatever you bring, your deodorant. You should try bringing an engine. They don't like it. And we're bringing it in, and they finally get there. We hook it up. I'm excited. Now, we're going to go reach them. We're going back to reach the people. There's a few times. I mean, oh, I don't have time to tell you, but I'm telling you this, that when you're in the river, when you're in the presence, when you're in the glory, everything shifts. Everything shifts. And so we go back and we trust God and we go back and there's just a little problema. The captain doesn't understand that you should find out about the weather. So he didn't try to find out about the weather. And I'm a, I, I, I've had healing in my heart, so you're not supposed to say double type A. So I'm motivated. I'm motivated, so I said, we're going. We are going. 
We are going. We have waited years to get back. We're going. And so we're going. And it's rocking and it's crazy. And then um, the wind blows and the water comes in. And I get in the dinghy. I get to shore. The captain, quote, unquote, Captain, yeah, calls me. And he says, we're sinking, we're sinking, we're sinking. I said, no, we're not sinking. I'm on a termite hill trying to get a signal. No joke. I climbed up on a termite hill. Yeah, he's, we're sinking. I said, no, you're not. He said, yeah, we're, we're, we are sinking. We're sinking. I said, well, what about the flare? He shot the flare sideways. <laughs> Intercession, my dear brothers and sisters. Don't shoot the flare sideways. Up, go up, go up, go up. We need to go up in intercession. Not shooting, he shot it sideways. Drunken guy from Pemba Beach came to rescue a few people. I said, I'm not going. I couldn't go. They wouldn't even fit me on there. He was so drunk. I wouldn't want to go with that guy. Anyway, we were shipwrecked. And, and this is about Ezekiel 47. And how if you don't quit, you win. And if you stay in the presence and in the spirit, everything shifts. So that's what we did. We just like, we just preached. We preached every message we knew. I was there with a few guys, a few Mozambicanos, and we preached and I mean, I preached everything I could preach all day. I mean, when they woke me up, I was exhausted. They had built me a little mud hut. Fire ants bit us in the night. We didn't sleep at all. Where they, then, then this is the fun part. And I want to ask the worship team to come up, please. No, but come on up. No, what? I, I don't know. It's, I don't want to over... To, okay, I'll tell the story and then you'll come up. All right. So, so we're in, I'm in the hut trying to sleep. I'm in my little room. They're in their little room. And I hear screaming. This is after the shipwreck. Screaming. These are men. Screaming men. In the dark. There's no electricity. Not a candle. Not a flashlight. Everything was wet. Everything was wrecked. It was, it was cyclone. It was bad. I mean, we're exhausted, and now they're screaming, and, and I, I, didn't, I didn't know what to do. I go out. They've been eaten by fire ants, just bitten, 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 and me too, and we're all just, like, miserable. And then we're trying to go back in there, and we're like, yes, deeper, Lord. <laughs> deeper in the spirit. The brothers didn't even want to pray anymore. They were just tired. I mean, Dilo just wanted to eat. Jose was about to have a baby, wanted to go see the baby. The other guy wasn't even saved, but pretended to be. He, was, he didn't care about anything. <laughs> Mario, it was his name. He didn't care about anything. He's like, whatever, you know. <laughs> and, and I just wanted to see this whole group saved, but I was tired because I had to go preach at Oxford at the university, and they said, you're going to London? Sell them all high. I said, okay. It was London. I was going to stop in London. So they thought it was London, their neighbor, London. I said, okay. I will say hi. So I'm going there to preach, and, and I know I'm meant to go preach. It was called Love Oxford. And the university students were all coming. And I knew I needed to get home. And I couldn't get home because I was shipwrecked. And I didn't have any way to get home. And I was going deep in God. And I wanted to go deep in God. And I wanted to go to love Oxford. And, and I didn't know how to get there. And I'm just praying in tongues, covered in fire ant bites, hadn't slept. And, and my brothers are not all in a happy mood. But the villagers were. They were very happy because we just planted a church there. So you know what they did? Before the sun came up, they decided to sing. Hallelujah. Before the sun came up, after all that, they decided to surround my hut. Oh, yeah. 
and sing. Wetana ye, wetana ye, wetana ye, sunarera, wetan. Walk with Jesus, it's so good. Wake up with Jesus, he's so good. I'm like, oh yeah, he's great. That's awesome. God bless your hearts. I get out, I'm like, what? They were so happy you couldn't stop their joy. Have you ever been around Christians like that? They're just so happy. You're like, hi. They're like, hi. Oh, give me a hug. And you're like, okay. How joyful can you be? These people were so joyful that it was annoying, especially at that moment. I didn't know what to do. They're just joy, 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 joy. And we're preaching and preaching and teaching and preaching and we're hungry, we're tired. And they're just like, yes, more. Just tell us more about Jesus. And I'm like, I've told you everything I know. Because <laughs> I was already in like a fourth language, you know. It was it. That's all I could say. I could go deeper. Don't you worry. That frightened some people. But... I was doing it in Makua. Finally, I get, we had to finally, I'm like, I got to get to Oxford. Jose wanted to see his baby. Mario didn't give a rip. And <laughs> Dila was super hungry. And so I decided to get in a canoe, a wooden canoe with the brothers, got out to the boat. The bottom was on the sand. It was sad. It was sad. <laughs> All those years of praying and trusting and believing. That's only the first boat we sunk. I don't have time to tell you about the rest. I'm just telling you this story. Because this story has a really cool ending. Which is a beginning. We get out there, sitting in the heat. We, we are so tired now. We, we're just sitting in the heat. There's no shade. We don't know what to do. And a guy comes up with the most ugly boat I have ever seen in my entire life. And I have seen a few. This is already boat. Number one sunk. Number two was a, a, a what you call it? A dinghy. Then there was a canoe. This is now another canoe took me out there. Now here comes a bird poop boat. That's what I call it. It's a bird poop boat. It was full of bird poop. You're thinking, is this a message? Yes, it is. <laughs> Because you don't know who's going to rescue you sometimes. You don't know. And you could just be looking at them. Oh, I don't like that boat. I don't like that person. I don't like that. I don't like this. You never know. You never know who might be called of God to rescue you. And what shape their boat might be in. But you just trust Jesus. So I talked to the guy, and not only that, he wanted to take my, my money. He wanted to take more than it was worth. And I said no, and he, he just sped off. He wasn't going to, he just left us there. I said, okay, I think we need to stop bargaining. What's a soul worth? What's it worth to you to get to the other side? I said, Lord, I'm sorry, I'm going to stop bargaining here with you. We, we got into this bird poop boat at an exorbitant price. And his engine blew up. This is, a, I don't tell fake stories, just in case. You're, I'm new here. But anybody knows me and knows, they've all, you've been on boats. They still go on boats. You've been on a boat. No, maybe you didn't go on a boat. Maybe they were sunk at that point. We're getting new ones. Don't you worry. So, so they come back, he comes back and his engine blows up and now I'm really, we're, we're just thinking this is too much. We're laughing, we're praying in tongues, we're crying, we're praying in tongues, except for Mario. <laughs> He's just shaking his head. And, and what happens, I'm thinking, how can this boat engine blow up? This is too much, but it did. And we're in the middle of the ocean, but there's a big black rock, and I could take you to that place one day. There's a big black rock, and we're going to hit it very soon. And we don't have, I said, where are your oars? 
I said to the man, where are your oars? He said, I never had a problem with my engine. I don't have any oars. I said, okay. I realize now this is set up, like God's setting us up. So here comes a boat. Far off in the distance, here comes a boat. And I see it, and there is, I can start counting the heads of the fishermen. There are six fishermen in there. And I can tell they're, they're Makua. And they get all the way up to our, our boat. And I'm now, I'm, I'm just, we're all just getting actually scared. And I know perfect love cast out fear. Hallelujah. But I'm not feeling perfect love. <laughs> I'm feeling fear. I'm feeling fear. I'm thinking about my husband, my children, my grandchildren, all the people I love. I'm praying in tongues. I'm screaming. I'm crying. I'm laughing. I'm abiding. I'm waiting. I'm, then I'm screaming again in tongues. Not like, ah. It's more like, you know, those kind of tongues. And these six guys show up. There's just a problem that they didn't, weren't prepared for me. So they were not dressed. No. No. I said, no. They said, get in the boat. I said, no. They say, we're rescuing you. I'm like, no. I didn't know what to do. It was very, very uncomfortable, shall I say, very uncomfortable. These are fishermen not expecting a little white woman in the middle of the ocean. They're fishing. And here I come, and it's like, Jesus, 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 Jesus. And I just like get in the boat, and I, I get in, and there's fish everywhere. And the Lord says, Ezekiel 47, Fish of many kinds. And just as I'm like, my heart's pounding, I'm like, how am I going to get to the other side? I just keep my eyes closed. I don't know how many of don't have a bandana. Jesus, I don't know what to do. And one of them jumps off the side and swims to the other side. No joke. He swims to the where that big black rock is, and he gets off, and he swims back with shorts. This is the glory of God. You don't know what the glory of God is till you saw that. This is the glory of God. He comes back. He honored me. I've flown in helicopters and jets and been picked up in big vehicles. I've never been honored like that. That man swam to get shorts on the other side so that I could not feel so uncomfortable. I thought that is what honor looks like. Right there, I saw honor. And the man was not even saved. He had honor. He honored me with that gesture. And I was undone. And I'm weeping as I'm looking at this harvest of fish. And the Lord said, it's fish of every kind. It's fish of every kind. And will you believe for the fish of every kind, for every tribe, tongue, and nation? He said, it doesn't matter how many boats sink. Go deep, go deep, go deep, go deep, go deep, go deep, go deep. And you will have a harvest of fish of many kinds. And as I'm in that boat, and they, they were so kind, and they they, they clothed themselves for us. And, and I'm in that boat, and I'm looking down at the fish, and the thing starts tipping over. And I really do want the worship team to come now. The boat starts tipping over. And I mean, we didn't know what to do. Like, how can we have come this far, and now we're going to drown? Now we're going to, because we, we didn't, we just, that was it. And then I hear, and I want you to stand with me, please. I hear this sound. I hear this powerful sound. I've heard this sound in revival. I've heard this sound in meetings where Holy Spirit's moving. But I did not expect to hear this sound 
in the middle of the Indian Ocean. What I heard was, Ho! 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 And up comes a sail. Up comes a sail. It was a sail. It was made out of rice sacks. It came up. And the moment we caught the wind, we were saved. It came up, shokaraba, holy is the lamb. The, the boat came up and the wind started hitting that sail. And the Lord spoke to my heart, tell the church, position themselves for the wind of the spirit. Tell the church, go deep, go deep, go deep, go deep. There are so much harvest. There's so much harvest. There's so much harvest. Go deep, go deep, go deep. Past your ankles, past your knees, past your waist, over your head. Go deep, go deep, go deep. Position yourself. And I feel that this call tonight, this altar call tonight, that God, some of you are like, I don't care what it takes. So you just, you just want to come to the altar and position yourself to catch the wind of the Spirit. This is a presence conference. If you would come, just you want to you wanna position yourself to catch the wind. You say, I don't care what the cost is. I don't care what it takes. I want to catch the wind. Come Holy Spirit. I want to catch the wind of the Spirit. You can kneel, you can stand, you can lift your hands. Holy Spirit's going to start to blow on people all over this place. Close your eyes, if you would, for a moment. When we started, we started to come across the bay. I saw the most glorious sunset that I'd ever seen. I had one New Testament in my little bag, my waist pack, one. Hey, the reason I had it is when a people came, they said they wanted to give us New Testaments, but they had a condition they would not give them to any women. And I had to make a choice that day. We're talking about tens of thousands of New Testaments. I had to make a choice that day. Was I going to be offended by the fact that I wasn't allowed to touch those New Testaments until a man touched them? Or was I going to listen to the Holy Spirit and get rid of my offense right now? Offense is breaking off right now. Offense is breaking off. Offense is breaking off. I said to the leader of that group, I said, no problem. I, I, we have lots of men. I, I'll, I'll back way up. I won't touch a single Bible, not a single box, not a single Bible. I won't touch them till the men have, have received them and the men will, will be in charge. And I, I, I got rid of the offense. And because of that, we've gotten hundreds of thousands of these New Testaments. Right now, the Lord's speaking to some people, get rid of the offense, get rid of the offense. And because of that, I had one in my waist pack and I preached the gospel to these six fishermen. And every single one of them gave their heart to the Lord Jesus Christ. They all got powerfully saved. So Holy Spirit, yeah, and I got across, and the next day I flew to London and then got to Oxford and preached the gospel at Love Oxford in pouring rain, in pouring rain, an outdoor meeting. And it was like the Lord sent the rain so they could feel just a little bit just a little bit of what it's like to just say yes, no matter what the circumstances. So now I'm going to ask the worship team to go up and in. And I'm going to ask Holy Spirit, my friends, to blow, to blow, to blow, to blow, to blow right now, Holy Spirit. 
as your people are positioning themselves. So God, position yourself, catch the wind. Sharaba, the Lord, Sharaba Saya, not only are there fish, Sharaba Saya, not only are there fish, but there are fruit trees. John 15 says, if you abide in me, I'll abide in you and you will bear much fruit. Seek the face of Jesus. Position yourself right now. We're going to end in worship. We're going to end in worship as Holy Spirit just <coughs> starts to blow, 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 blow across this place. Holy Spirit, blow wind of God. 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 Fruit trees of all kinds will grow on the banks of the river. Their leaves will not wither, nor will their fruit fail. Every month they will bear because the water from the sanctuary flows to them. Their fruit will serve for food and their leaves for healing. Okay. All I know is right now as we worship, Holy Spirit's going to crash in on people. I'm going to ask you not to look at me, just to look at the Lord, just to go in, to position yourself. Holy Spirit's going to start touching people sovereignly all over this place. Sovereignly. So you go in, Melanie. Go in, go in, go, go in deep, go in deep. Whatever songs he gives you, go in deep. And this is how we're going to move. Come, Holy Ghost. Come, Holy Ghost. Come, Holy Ghost. Come on. Come on, Holy Ghost. Come on, Holy Ghost. Shut up. Shut up. Come on, Holy Spirit. More, Lord. More, Lord. More, Lord. Blow, wind of God. Blow wind of God, 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 blow wind of God,
God. Take me deeper, God, face to face with Jesus. Don't leave me like this, God. Take me to the other side, God. Take me deep, Lord, for the harvest. Here am I, send me. Here am I, send me. Let it be your prayer. Here am I, send me. Here am I, blow on me, Holy Spirit. Live in me, God. Send me, use me. Bruise me if need be. I say yes. I say yes. I say yes. I say yes. Come on, you're so called. You're so called. You're so called. Whoa. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 God. Yes, yeah, there's a yes cry in you, yes cry in you. Don't look at us, don't look at us. Lift your hands, let it be a yes. We're just like post people. You can only deliver what he gives. You say yes. Go up, go up, go up, go up, go up. Face to face. For it. You go, girl. Yeah, you too. Whoa. Fire, fire, fire of the gospel. Fire of the gospel. Fire of the gospel. Fire of the gospel. Just worship, 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 worship. I will go. I will go. I will go. Blow on me, wind of God. Blow on me, wind of God.
over people I'm hearing some some of you are hearing school districts some of you are seeing different things in the spirit like places where the wind of the spirit is blowing you and, and there's there's this yes cry there's a yes cry and as there's a yes cry in you the wind of the spirit will just blow blow on you blow on you blow on you it's a place of harvest supernatural harvest harvest that you've never seen before when I bowed low in that boat there were fish of every kind many many kinds of fish and it was so incredibly awesome and I'm telling you it doesn't matter what the cost there's this yes cry inside of your spirit that says I will go Lord if you would just blow, Lord, just blow on the sails, Lord. I position myself. I fix my eyes on you, Jesus. I fix my heart on you, Jesus. I fix my life on you, Jesus. So blow, wind of God. Blow on my life, God. Blow on the sails, Lord. I, I position myself to catch the wind of the Spirit. And Lord, I position myself day after day after day after day Lord I trust you God I trust you when I don't understand I trust you Lord when a boat sinks I trust you Lord when I don't I don't get to the place I want to get in the moment I want to get there because I trust that you are God and you are good and you are God and you are good and you're sovereign and there's power there's power in your breath there's power in your breath God so would you start to blow now Lord I ask that you would blow sovereignly across this whole place Lord that people wouldn't even need to be touched that you would just sovereignly blow on them and there would be a place oh God with low place where people would be so undone by you that they would never ever be done up again show in the mighty name of Jesus yes Lord yes Lord Shh, fire on her whoa fire on her Lord fire 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 the wind of your spirit fire and burn up everything in me God it doesn't bring you pleasure burn it up whoa burn up anything that doesn't bring you joy burn it up burn it up burn it up burn it up Lord Shh. fire of the spirit of the living God whoa fire of the spirit of the living God whoa spirit of the living God burn Lord blow Lord move Lord. Shh. fire burn up anything that doesn't bring you pleasure take me deep God take me past my understanding the mind of Christ see like a cloud just a glory cloud of the mind the mind the mind the mind the mind of Christ show 
I see students being touched. I see a great outpouring coming on the campuses with students being touched. I see a great outpouring in the universities, great outpouring, sovereign move of God in the universities. There are people now being called right now, called to carry revival in the universities. Oh, if that's you, you just lift your hand catch the wind right now. You're called to carry revival in the universities. Oh, blow wind of God, blow wind of God, blow wind of God. You know you are, you know you are, you know you are. Go, professors in this place. Oh, shakaraba, blow wind of God, blow wind of God, blow on the campuses, God. Blow on the campuses. Just lift your hands, prayer team, anywhere. Get around them. Show, blow wind of God, blow wind of God, blow wind of God. That girl, I pray you I knew it. We were like, we're in this spot. These girls, you go, you go for it. Shh, take another double portion, honey. For the campuses, you, for the campuses, take it. Take for the campuses. Whoa, sorry, whoa. <laughs> You're okay. Lord, did she fall on you? Sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Fall. For the campuses, Lord, for the campuses, God. Where are they? For the campuses. Whoa, for the campuses. Shh. Fire, fire for the campuses. Whoa. Fire for the campuses. Take the fire for the campuses. It's an outpouring for the campuses.
Well, I'd say this has been a good start to our conference for sure. No, don't clap. Let's just keep the presence here. Uh, my thought would be that if you need to leave, go ahead and leave. If you want to hang around and pray for a while, then you're welcome to do so. Uh, but let's, you know, just flow with whatever the Lord has from this point forward. The service is formally dismissed. So if you do have to leave, do so quietly. And Melanie, you can uh, go until you're too tired to go. <laughs> Thank you for being here. We'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow. you guys to go um, there's just and, and I love that because that's how it needs to be because if people feel trapped it's really really challenging so I've, I've, what I'm sensing right now is Holy Spirit um, is pouring out on, on young people and students and if that if you're, if you're a student at a university or a high school and you just feel like you just you just want more of God and you don't care what it costs you don't care what it takes or cost and you just want to see God crash in on your campus you just want to see God move then you just make your way forward and just lift your hands to the Lord we're just we're just going to pray for for the students and we're gonna pray that God would just move because what I see is a great move going across the campuses of America and like a great mighty move. And there's a, a group like Catalyst students here. You've already been touched, some of you, very powerfully. But I feel like there's something about the students just just go go to the front. They're in the front. There's a group of them. Get them all the students, all the university students, high school students, about to be university students. I want you to just come to the front. Just lift your hands. It's good to stay low. Just stay low because this is not about looking at me. Please don't look at me. But I want you to come because there's an impartation tonight. And it's if you don't quit, you win. And it's for the campuses. And there's lots of things the Lord's done for lots of different groups. But there's, there's the wind of the spirits on these students. There's something that's up with the campuses. And God's going to pour out such a fresh move on the campuses. And I see it's like another Jesus people movement. And I see it just blowing, the wind of God just blowing across the campuses. So um, I'm going to have um, Hannah pr help pray, Pastor Lynn help pray over these students. Right now, just lift your hands. Holy Spirit's all over these kids. I want all the young people in the universities, in the high schools, come. And just, just, wear, just start praying over them. Holy Spirit is sending them with fire to these campuses, with glory to these campuses. There's going to be such sovereign moves of God on these campuses. They're going to find themselves just praying like night and day. And, and students are going to be undone by the power of God. It's a sovereign move of God. I also want to ask any professor that's here to come on up and, and just 
kneel behind the students. Just, they need you, they need you, they need you, they need you. They're gonna need you big time. Show, 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 show us your glory, Lord. A sovereign move on these young people, a sovereign move on their campuses, God. A sovereign move, Lord, Lord, a sovereign holy move where the great harvest is coming in on the campuses and students from all over the world are going to be saved and they're going to go even back to their own nations carrying the glory of God and America's going to be touched and the Lord's sending students from other nations from other nations to bring the fire of the gospel to America show, show Show us your glory, Lord. Come on these students, Lord. There's a wind blowing on these students. It's holy, it's holy, it's holy. The professors here, if you want to just start laying hands on them, if you're born again, spirit-filled professor, I want you to please start laying hands on them because God's gonna just, this is sovereign, sovereign, sovereign move of the Spirit. They're catalyst in this room. Show, show, show us your glory, Lord. Show us your glory. 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 sovereign holy and sovereign come holy spirit blow on them lord graduate students come wherever the professors are we need you Shh. come just start laying hands on them start laying hands on them sweet pray over them Shh. more lord more lord more lord more lord more lord just just ask him to use you on the campus there's a wind of the Spirit blowing on the campuses across America. He's going to use people out of these meetings. You're going to be marked in this meeting and be sent to the, to the campuses with holy oil, with holy fire, with the wind of the Spirit. More, Lord. More, Lord. More, Lord. More, Lord. More, Lord. More, Lord. Wow. More, Lord. God, I pray, I pray, Lord, more, Lord, more, Lord. Send them, Lord. Use them, Lord. Blow on them, God. Wind of God, wind of God. Blow on them, Lord. Wind of God. Teachers, teachers, come. Teachers, just come and lay hands on the students. Shakata Rabba. More, Lord, more, Lord. Born again, spirit-filled teachers. Kiara, stand with them in this move of God flowing across the campuses, blowing across the campuses. There'll be days where they won't even be able to go into class, and you're going to have to stand with them in that. Wow, 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 wow. More, Lord, more, Lord, more, Lord, more, Lord. We want to see this nation changed again. They're the catalyst that changed the nation. They're the nation changers in this room. They're being blown by the spirit of the living God, the blowing wind of God blowing on you for the campuses, for the campuses. Lord, use her Father, use her Jesus. Shh, shh, more, whoa. Lord, and I ask for over these students a wall of fire round about them and their minds. I ask for the wall of fire round about them and their minds and the glory within them, Lord. The wall of fire round about them, their minds. Yeah, if you're on the outskirts, you just come on in. And all the ministry team, just start blessing them. This is going to be fruit, fruit, fruit coming out of this church and out of this meeting. Fruitfulness like you've never dreamed. The fish of many kinds. He's sending you. He's blowing on you. He's moving on you. Shh. We pray for it, my God. More, 
more, Lord. More, Lord. More, Lord. All the professors, you just lay hands on these kids. Shh. Whoa, teachers, lay hands on them too. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sovereign, sovereign, sovereign Lord. Sovereign Lord. Let me get behind her. I don't know what. More, Lord. Blow on her, Lord. Send 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 her, Lord. Whoa, send her, Lord. Send her, Lord. Shh. Send her, Lord. Yeah, just keep worshiping. Just keep worshiping beautiful Yeshua. Just keep worshiping him. Just keep worshiping him. Whoa! Just keep worshiping him. Just keep on. Keep on. Let your voice ring out. Go ahead. Ring it out. Ring it out. Ring it out. Ring it out. More, Lord. For these campuses, God. For these students. Keep praying. Keep praying over them. This is a sovereign move of God. This is so sovereign. You go ahead. You sing it out. Sing it out, Yeshua. Sing it out. 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 Call for him. Call for his glory. Call for his presence across the campuses. Across the campuses. More, 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 more. More, 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 more. More, 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 more. More, 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 more. Shh. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, sovereign God. Thank you, sovereign God. Thank you, sovereign Lord. Thank you, sovereign God.
It's fine. 